What a beautiful sunrise. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Gorgeous girls go on morning walks at 8 a.m. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls get up early and smash their days. Hey team, happy Monday. Um, I've just got back from my walk. Walks are not something I typically do, to be honest. This is the first time this New Year's. So I'm not trying to act like I'm that girl that just wakes up at like 8 a.m. and is like, yeah, let's go for a walk. But I was, one, we had that insane sunrise um, and it just kind of made me not want to go back to sleep. And I kind of thought if I got up in 15 minutes, I'd be able to take a lovely walk in the sunrise. That was incorrect because um, obviously the sunrise what was she was done, she was risen. Um, and then I came down and I was like, fuck it, like, I'm going to go on a walk. Tara texted me saying she was up in bed. I was like, yep, I'm going to go on a walk. She's like, I am too. I was like, let's sync it up. Motivated each other to go. Um, and then I went down and I was like, okay, maybe I'll be real, you know, that girl vibes and get myself a little lemon water. But I didn't have any lemons. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to walk to Tesco and buy just a few breakfast things. Um, trying to eat a bit better this year. Um... We've got a trip to Abu Dhabi and I just want to be feeling my best and not super groggy from eating loads of rubbish. But my hair is absolutely chaotic. So, oh, also in Tesco, that club card discount is insane. Like this would have cost me, okay, I'm being quite dramatic because it would have cost me £10, but it only cost me like £7.30. No, even less. It said I saved like £3 something. So hello, she's back. She's got makeup on. We filmed a little YouTube video. Feeling productive this Monday. I just filmed a YouTube video, which actually should be up by now. It's how I edit my Instagram photos. So if you haven't seen that, then please do check it out. Um, now I'm gonna grab something to eat because I'm absolutely ravenous. Like, I don't usually get hungry till about one o'clock and it's only half 11. I think every time I like go on a walk and wake up earlier, like I feel like my body is like ready to eat a lot earlier because I don't usually eat breakfast or I can't, I also like can't have coffee. Like I know people always wake up and have have coffee to almost wake up, but I need my whole body to like be awake before I really embrace that coffee. But Monday it's just like kind of planning, getting myself back together from the weekend, but yeah. <laughs> died clearly it couldn't hack filming a youtube video this morning and vlogging so she's charging so i am back on my phone um got my coffee ran out of um actual coffee beans so i had to use just the azira which i don't mind but i also put like a scoop of collagen in my coffee because i keep forgetting to put that in but it's supposed to be like really good for your skin so i've been trying to get on top of that and put more collagen into my coffee i think you have to have it like once a day or something like that then we've got my lovely little planner so my sister's bought me this for um christmas and it's really good so it's got like um this is like my month with like a habit tracker so you can tick how many days you do clearly this one waking up at 8 9 a.m it's not going well um including today it's going to be two days and then you do like a monthly check-in like this month's focus i put as movement so that just means like being able to like exercise and stuff i feel like that's always a key one for january and then this week and they do like a week planner here just in case anyone's looking for one and then here is like your workouts that you could like list out and then this is like your meals obviously clearly i've not done that so i'm going to complete this and then at the end you do like kind of what your what went well what could be improved your like gratitude um, three things you're grateful for and then over here I just put my priorities so this month is obviously my expenses and my taxes and then just like a couple of ads and stuff for this week so it's just a nice way to break it out and like visualize because usually I just do it all in my head and just make a list every single day and sometimes I get quite overwhelmed quite easily but that's really good um, and then at the beginning it also has like um, bits where you can like set your intentions so like, and how you plan to, things you can do to make those things happen. So it's really good if you're into like your manifesting, but you also want like a planner um, and journal because at the back, they also have like fun journal pages. So I can't remember where this is from. I think it's blush and, oh, blush and gold. 
so i'll have a look i'll leave a link for that if you are looking for one and then a few of my other friends have the carrying co, co planner so that one's also really good so i'm basically just gonna sit here and just do some work now it's pretty boring so cue time lapse of laptop work <music> slump you're so tired like i don't understand no i'm just not a morning person like i can't think about anything other than like how tired i am right now so i thought i'd basically plan my meals for the day because obviously we're gonna go to the just probably tesco later so i was looking i'm trying to eat like relatively healthy or that being said tonight i really want to make vodka pasta minus vodka because i can't be asked to buy actually no we might have like a bit for the restaurant here yeah i'm gonna make that vodka pasta tonight the Gigi hadid one so when i meal plan i tend to like just go on pinterest and type in healthy dinner recipes vegetarian and have a look um so they've got a this halloumi and mediterranean veg tray bake that sounds pretty easy and then i was looking on this so i do the steph fit app which we're gonna do a workout later mm, i should do that before it's dark otherwise i'm not gonna want to do it um but she's got one of these like she has like recipes on there so that also looks really yum and it uses more or less the same as my tray bake so i feel like that could be quite good and then i'm contemplating whether i want to buy salmon because it's always so tasty but ever since that um what was that show they said that loads of salmon was actually great and that really put me off for ages but yeah let's go with no for now and then i'm thinking some wraps like just like tuna and this like spicy tuna avocado wrap that's also on this app so i'm think oh there you go go on no i feel like you can see it there you go so this spicy like tuna wrap which will be quite easy for like lunches because i just struggle and then i get to this point where i hate taking ages to make food because when i'm hungry i'm hungry like i need to eat like asap so it's just a bit like <sighs> So I'm just literally gonna fill them in to this part of my sweet little like this part of my planner here. As per usual as well, I've only drank half my coffee. Yay! So I'm gonna go put some ice in it and then add a bit more milk and have an iced coffee and just fin it off, finish it off. Right, now to change into workout gear. One, two, three. So now, let's do this. Oh my God, it's so cold. Wow. Wow, this seat is bloody freezing. Okay, we're finally going to the supermarket. Oh, let's hope not. Um, so excited because I am so hungry. I'd say productivity wise today could, could have gone better, I won't lie to you. Um, but it could have gone worse. There were some things ticked off the list. There's still time. I like to do like chill stuff in the evening that means like you know like editing and things like that but for now i literally just couldn't think about anything else like i just did one of those stuff at workouts and i felt in agony but i mean props just proud of myself for doing the workout in the first place but my god as i was doing it i was like god i'm not gonna make it through this like it needs to be you know it needs to be done now and now i'm absolutely ravenous again so we're gonna go buy everything oh i didn't check didn't check what we already had at home which i know is gonna make everybody really mad including myself because i'm trying to limit food waste but if i don't check what we have at home which i think we had most of it not most of it but like pasta and stuff like that i hate clogging up my covers with pasta oh my god side note i just remembered has anyone seen this trick i shared it on my oh god wait, let me i shared it on my stories today but look when you all my harry potter fans out there um shh watch this hey siri lumos Ta -da! how cool is that i literally found that out today i thought that was the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life so sharing that with you guys have fun okay food shop is done i feel like i would show you i thought we'd do a little haul but I didn't actually get anything super interesting like i've really only got like vegetables some wraps like the only fun things i got were really those crisps and um linda mccartney stuff because i bought most of it already so i didn't really need to get anything crazy i just bought some stuff for my parents as well also yeah 20p bags 
when did that happen i mean great because it's my own fault i should have i should have brought my bloody um i should have brought my own bloody bag and i forgot it and i was like oh are these the only bags you have and she was like yeah i was like she's like let me know how many let, how many let me know how many you um end up using like at the end i was like i will be using one bag and one bag only i will not be paying another no it's gonna be the one bag thank you ma'am sorry coming around the bend like that are you mad um right very stressful encounter don't recommend coming on. i'm not going back to tesco this time i feel like it's like post school run and all of this pull off it's a bit off where are you going are you turning okay right god my lord do i have road rage sometimes i think i have road rage i feel like i'm quite calm i'm a good driver i don't think i have unnecessary road rage i think sometimes no maybe i do no guys i'm sorry about how beautiful is my pasta look at her wow that's juju hadid's spicy vodka pasta i did try a little bit and i'm thinking i put too much chili in it but i basically i will put the recipe below it's so easy to follow it's so good i just swapped out the milk uh the double cream with just a plant-based double cream and do I swap anything else out? No, I don't think so. Um, there is a really nice vegan parmesan that you can get from Lidl if anyone's doing Veganuary, but um, I couldn't find it. So I just had to use normal parmesan. So it's kind of redundant, swapping out the cream. But, you know, every little bit helps. Oh my God, that's the Tesco slogan. I hate that. I give me the ick. I hate me. Wow. Okay, anyways, I'm going to enjoy my lovely dinner. I'm so very excited. Going to watch a bit of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Disney+. Plus. And then we're gonna go up and wind down. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I should have taken my makeup off already, really. I hate working out makeup for like a I look at my eczema as well. She's angry. Squeezed her earlier, didn't I? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to eat my dinner now and just have a really chilled evening. I probably won't do any more work to be honest. Just chill and watch TV and then get ready for bed. How can I not try this for you? Let's just try it quickly. Oh my god, oh my god. So good. I'm gonna put double the amount of chili flakes. Now chili flakes are quite spicy. So it's spicy, don't get me wrong. But if you put the normal amount, it's so, so fine. It's so um, manageable. And then I literally topped it up with so much basil. I'm in bed. I think it's about 11, is it? Yeah. It's literally 11 p.m. I am in bed, about to start my second book of 2022. Can you believe it? So I say, can you believe it? If you don't know, I literally don't read. Like, I'm really, really trying. But I figured out that the only books that I can really read are kind of like, um, like self-care, self-help books. I feel like they keep me like really positive, really motivated. Just really enjoy reading them. So I had finished the first Vex King book yesterday, which was Good Vibes, Good Life. That was really good and really, really easy read. And then my sister's got me his second book healing is the new high um so i'm gonna start that tonight and just read a couple of pages and then i'm gonna try go to sleep and then maybe tomorrow we'll have another lovely sunrise and i can get up early again but my god it's very exhausting waking up at eight like i'm not used to it at all like come 8 p.m today i was literally a zombie like i'm so tired i've been awake like 12 hours and just can't concentrate so hopefully that will get a bit better um but yeah i'm gonna read my book and go to sleep now so i feel like it, it feels like it's been a busy monday but very like boring at the same time so good morning everybody it's actually a lot later than i cared to be waking up with my new found morning energy um i woke up at like half nine today i just could not sleep last night like i was so uncomfortable you know when you like need a wee and i could tell that i needed a wee but i just did not want to get out of bed so then i sat there well lay there really uncomfortably for like an hour and then it was nearly one o'clock in the morning and i was like i actually need to get out to bed go and wee whereas i should have just weed at like before 12 so i could just be asleep by now do you know what i mean it doesn't else ever had that so I was really uncomfortable and then I just felt like I didn't sleep properly. Like I was having really weird dreams and like just very vivid. And then this morning I was just woken up by a delivery, which I'm actually, should we go check what it is? I'm hoping it's my um, lip oils that I ordered from Dior. Living that fancy life. Let's have a look. Here it is. Um, so I got the Dior Backstage Blush in that pink colour. 
um, the 001 pink. It's the one that Kylie Jenner uses, I believe. And it viral on TikTok. I've seen quite a few people. Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to ruin the packaging right now. And then I got one of the lip oils and I got the rosewood for this one, I believe. So very, very excited to try that at some point today. Ooh. We're home. That was really stressful, guys. We were in the car park and the car park's reduced because they're like fixing the top of it. There was, well, the car was just not starting. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. Everyone's around, they're looking at me. I hate situations like that. Um, but I had to go because I had to pick up something for a campaign that I have that's coming up, which is super exciting. And then I also found one of my favorite hot sauces, this Ch Cholula hot sauce. So it's not actually that spicy, but it's a very nice, like mild, like lemony, citrusy, lemon lime kind of spice. So good for like breakfasts and things like that. But I really, really like this hot sauce. Um, but it's just not super spicy. So if you like a really spicy hot sauce, that one's not for you. I just like the flavor of it. I'd say it's actually very mild to be honest and then I just picked up some bits for the campaign because I didn't actually need anything else but I haven't done anything to oh oh yeah I went to get my sides waxed look at them looking fresh and then just my eyebrows but that was mainly because I didn't have any cash and it's a minimum of 10 pounds so probably didn't need to get my eyebrows done I definitely didn't need to get my eyebrows done but it's fine look at that we're looking trim which means I can have my hair in a bun tomorrow because it's gonna look so fresh with my new hairless sides. It's Wednesday, guys. I didn't do anything yesterday. I'm just getting ready to go out and shoot my campaign today. Um, oh, my hair's a bit crazy. Oh, my room's so messy. Um, but Mel said she's running a bit late, so I have a bit of spare time. So I'm literally lint roll. Well, not even lint rollering because my lint roll is finished. So I've literally got duct tape and on it. De fluff like. These leggings, I love the Adenola leggings so much, but they just stick like to fluff. Well, no, sorry, they don't stick to fluff. Fluff sticks to them. And like, I'm not even sure where this fluff has come from because I haven't like used anything. So I'm literally like going down my hate. It's actually working very well. So in case anyone has also run out of their lint roller, this is working a dream so i'm traveling into central and then we're gonna go to like around bank area to shoot everything i've literally only decided to shoot one thing yeah i have so much stuff like guys it's a stunning day in london there's malice we're getting all our work done so this is probably the only clip oh my god beg your pardon look how beautiful it is today it's so sunny not ideal for mel great for mental health <laughs> Okay, we're running out of light, but that's us for the day. Hi and bye. Bye bye. Okay, guys, first things first, stunning day again. Living in a really good mood. So, so far, I've gone to the cafe to re upload that YouTube video because I uploaded the wrong one. And then I went to get my nails done. Are we ready? Three, two, one. I am literally obsessed with them. Christmas nails are gone. We've got black tips and then just some little like diamante gems. So I was saying on my Instagram that I saw Delaney Charles with these nails. I was literally obsessed with them. I had the gems for my birthday in Paris and I just loved them. So I was like, this is perfect. We're going to Manchester like next weekend. They'll be really cute for that. And then I'll get them done a more neutral color when we go to Abu Dhabi. But I am literally obsessed with them. I get them done at five star nails. Here's another look at them. Take them all in and all their glory. Unsure what this hand stance is from me, but yep take it all in we love her um i'm heading to tara's now to finish filming that campaign because i realized i'm missing a few scenes and i'm gonna have a bit of a work day um so i'm gonna go ahead and get the bus and then yeah that's just all i'm really doing today and then i'll probably come back home and chill later anyway let's go because i'm late again guys it's sunday so i think i last spoke to you when i got my nails done um on thursday and then i forgot to pick up the camera but in all fairness you really didn't miss anything like on friday i had a pretty traumatic nightmare thursday night that involved me being part of like uh like i i was shot a lot in that nightmare like a terrorist attack it was very very stressful i woke up and i was like am i wounded but obviously 
So then I was just like quite traumatized to put Big Bang on to try and go back to sleep again. So Friday I just chilled. I literally just like, I was horizontal for most of Friday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing emails horizontally, just watching TV. Um, and then I had work in the evening. Um, and then Saturday, same again. I all I did was literally do a workout and go on a little bit of a walk. So I promise you when I say you didn't miss anything, you literally did not miss a thing. Um, so today, I thought I'd treat you since I haven't um, picked up the camera in two days. I will show you a little haul of all the bits that have kind of I've ordered that have arrived this week. Um, annoyingly, I ordered my Amazon parcel to my friend's old address in East London. So I don't even know how I'm gonna get that back. But I reordered it so I can show you what I got anyway today. It's very, very cute. So yeah, let's get into the little haul, shall we? Okay, so first is ASOS. They had like 20% off like a couple of days ago. So I shared some of my top picks and this is basically what I ordered. Everyone knows I have an obsession with caps. So I got this green one, which I actually saw, um, I can't remember who the girl was on Instagram, but I'll pop her picture here. And she just looks so cool. This whole outfit was so cool. I literally went and ordered it all immediately. But this is from like the weekend collective section. I'm not actually sure this color of green like suits my skin tone. I just, I think it looks so cool on her. I just feel like I'm missing the mark a bit on myself. And then I got this cap, this gingham kind of like houndstooth cap from New Era. I'm obsessed with their caps and I'm literally, I'm so happy with this one. You would have seen me literally wear it in the last clip, I think. Um, but yeah, I just think it's so cool with like an all black outfit and just like some trainers, really casual. Love this cap. And then I saw these shoes, these are so Larry. So I saw these on Georgina Lennon's post. I just thought they look so cool. I saw how much they went, they're only 40 pounds. What I would say is that, okay, I mean, they're really Larry. They're like a high could be. I, my vision is maybe with like some plain trackies or like leggings, like a very casual, I say casual, but they're bright fucking orange. But yeah, I actually really, really like them. I love this shape, like the chunky trainer really suits me. I think they look more expensive than they are. However, I will say that they don't necessarily feel very expensive. Like they do feel a bit plastic, I won't lie. But like for the aesthetics, I think it is quite good. And um, then I also got, I've been looking for a pair of like gray trousers for ages. So I got these from ASOS Design. I love ASOS Design. Um, so these are them, they do have some pockets. They don't have a little belt loop, but they're just like a plain suit trouser. I shared these on my stories as well, saying that I'd ordered them, just a little pleat. But hopefully they're quite cute. Um, I had to get a 10 they didn't have an eight so I'll just see how they fit they are um they are quite thin i will say that which could be good could be bad i don't mind a thin trouser but we'll see how they look on and then obviously i said mention i'm going to abu dhabi in a couple of weeks so i basically ordered every single color of this bikini from south beach so south beach do like loads of really cute swimwear so i ordered like some metallic bikinis so this is like the gold one um, I have actually tried this on and the gold actually doesn't suit my skin tone. I've suggested it to live. I feel like it would look really nice on like maybe a blonde person and just, I don't know, like just the skin tone to mine, it just wasn't as cute. It wasn't the vision I had. Um, and it has one of those, I think, I don't know what type of bralette this is, but I want to say balcony. But very, very cute. I did order the top in a 10 and then I ordered the bikini bottoms in a 6 because I hate it when they go really saggy. So I got it in gold. I also tried it in bronze, which is sensational. I'm definitely keeping this and taking it to Abu Dhabi. So this is the bronze, which I feel is like much nicer with my skin tone. I much prefer this triangle cut too. And then I got the six in these like kind of drawstring ones, which is perfect. Actually, the sizing of this one was great. The sizing of the gold, the gold is actually very tight. Um, I'm about a like 32 D I think in boobs and I ordered the 10 and it was, it was snug, like the strap here, like around the, what do you call this? Chest, bust, around here was really, really tight. Um, and then I got it in blue as well, just in case. Cause I was like, oh, I don't want it to sell out. And then I not like the cut, like wanted one of the other colors. I thought better safe, get all of them. And then return the ones you don't want. And um, blue is sensational as well. So this is the metallic blue. It's super bright. It's like, just, oh, it's just stunning. So I, this actually came in a full set. So this is the um, the top. And then these are the bottoms, which is just really simple brief. These are exactly the same cut as the um, gold ones. However, the six in this just is a lot stretchier. I don't really know why. And then it also came with like a sarong, 
which is really cute like the whole set is stunning so i possess so the bronze and the blue are definitely coming with me to abby dabby oh i will just say though that the inside of this is black i don't really care about that but in case you're bothered by that just keep that in mind but yeah the bronze and the blue is definitely coming with me to abby dabby and then i also got my holy grail moisturizer the vitamin enriched face base from bobby brown in the 20 percent off at asos so so good you can use it as a primer but it's just like a really nice moisturizer like i put it on underneath my makeup oh wait i forgot about this one i also ordered this bucket hat I've seen a lot of people rock these very bucket hats and look like pure wealth like looking real cool i'm not one of those people so i can tell you now that this is going back but if you can pull off a fairy bucket hat of like apart from like, like my lack of color one is so cute but i feel like it's a bit bigger maybe i ordered this the wrong size but either way it's very cute it just doesn't suit me um, but I think it was only like £14. So that was from ASOS. Kaya the label kindly sent me, they actually sent me three pieces and I tried them on but the like unitard is actually way too loose. Um, so this is the top, it's in the same fabric as the unitard. It's got a really nice like, let me put the skirt down. It's got a really nice like under bust kind of detail so it cuts like this way more flatter i have a few tops that do that and they just also it's just like a nice way to elevate a basic piece the material is so good like it's actually very thick but they only had a size 10 in this and i kind of knew it was going to be a bit too big and it is like i could have probably sized down once or twice so like usually i'm an eight the eight would have fit a lot better um and i could have probably fit in six as well to be honest but it's such a nice cut and such a like beautiful material that it's such a shame that it doesn't fit and then they also other than my throat they also sent me this like cute little zebra parent um mini skirt which i thought would be cute with maybe either like a jumper or even like a little crop top and like a blazer and boots um this is from the sophia and i think both of them are actually from the sophia and chintzia right so you probably would have seen one of them wear this but it's it's very cute the fit of this is actually very nice i got this in an eight um just keep in mind that it's actually not a lot of stretches at all so it is it's a bit snug but it is flattering. I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't go up a size because then I feel like it'd be baggy around the waist. You saw me unbox the um, Dior earlier. So this is the lip oil in, let me put this down. This is the lip oil in Rosewood. It's so nice. It's the color that I've got on now. It's just, it's a lot, oh, that, what do you call it? I'm so not a makeup person because I actually don't even know what you call this sweet thing here. But it's so like large and it's just luxurious. Like, feels like pure wealth paint that on and it smells like a bit like a minty like a bit pepperminty which is really really nice i'm gonna go get my blusher because it's done so i'm back and this is the blusher it is no sorry how beautiful i almost don't want to use it but it's absolutely stunning but this is the one that kylie jenny uses guys so this is the 001 uh pink dior blush stunning and there's a little mirror in there as well um, I've literally just also topped up on my favourite SPF. So I put off um, topping up on this for a while because it's not that cheap. I think it's like 28 or £30. Pounds. But when I say that, I just haven't used any other SPF that I've been like, God, I really love it. And I really, really love this Fenty Skin one. It's completely vegan. Um, and I think it has hyaluronic acid in it. I'm not going to spew it out just in case I'm getting it wrong, but it's really nice. It smells amazing. It's super light and it's SPF. 30. Uh, and then the last few bits that I got were from Amazon. First one's a bit boring. I just got like a pack of like three satin kind of face masks that are adjustable. Um, and then I got my really cute earmuffs. No, sorry. How cute are they? Liv has like three other colours and nobody had all black. So I ordered all black and I'm thinking this would be so cute with like my black puffer jacket and just like black leggings, just like strong around town. But yeah, I love them. These were Amazon, these were like 15 pounds. Um, I think that's everything, let me double check. So that's everything in my little mini haul. I'll leave a link to everything down below for you guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna sign off the vlog here. I'm actually gonna go edit this and rush to that cafe to see if I can upload this real time. So this is literally the Sunday before hopefully it goes up and if it doesn't go up today it's gonna go up tomorrow so monday i'll go in the morning to have a look and upload it but hopefully i can edit it and get it all up for you guys today so i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i don't know if it was a bit too boring because i feel like it was very mundane not super exciting day in the life but yeah next week i promise you we're gonna go eat somewhere um so there'll be another video on wednesday from a little meal you can eat with me again but yeah for now enjoy your sunday everybody uh 
relax get ready for a new week let's do this um i hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video love you